Now listen, nearly 30 years ago, a folk group came to Britain with a new hard-hitting sound and style. They rose rapidly in the charts with hits such as A World of Our Own, I'll Never Find Another You, The Carnival Is Over, and sadly they split. And for 25 years, all four found success in their solo endeavours. But the spirit of the Seekers was to loom large in their lives. And this week, they re-released a single, the title song, to the highly successful film, Georgie Girl. It's just like the welcome you're getting everywhere you go in Britain, isn't it, Judith? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Actually, the concerts we had last April at the Royal Albert Hall were just mm. wonderful. And really, everybody's just been super. We didn't realise we'd get to Scotland, though. Yeah. It's a big thrill to come up here. Oh, we're well, delighted, delighted, to to here. delighted to have you. And you haven't changed a bit, any of you. Athol, <laughs> 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 who, who came up with the idea to actually reform? Was it just a natural sort of silver uh, uh, anniversary thing? I think it was years? something uh, as time had come. We, we sat together and had dinner uh, one night in Melbourne for the first time in, in 20 odd years. And uh, first chance we'd had to just renew the friendship, really. And out of it uh, came the fact that uh, the 25th anniversary of our departure musically was imminent. And we thought, well, why not do it again? Seems like a good idea. <laughs> How did you feel, Bruce? I mean, did everybody have the, the exactly the same idea? Were you as keen as everyone else? Yes, it was, a, it was a lovely thing to do. Uh, it was like uh, the family coming together again. And uh, I still remember us getting the first time we sang after all those years in a small studio in Melbourne. And I said, the sound is there absolutely unmistakable and of course as uh, uh, Judith and Athel mentioned we did a lot of concerts we did over a hundred concerts in Australia and New Zealand last year 
and uh, we're coming back here in the new year to do something. Ah, uh, terrific. Yeah. And the enthusiasm, Keith, is it still there? Do you think do you, you feel this is it's wonderful to be back, or is it only temporary? Oh, what you mean from you, Art? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the enthusiasm from all of us is uh, is just uh, is just uh, overwhelming. Really, we uh, we get out on stage and we get such a wonderful reaction from the audiences yeah. and. Uh, and our enthusiasm just bubbles over because of that. It's just mm. great. Yeah. Mm. So we're looking forward to playing live in front of all, all those wonderful audiences next March as well. Well, the, the only problem is we don't have a concert in Scotland as yet, Not do yet. We? I mean, this is the only visit to Scotland. That we're working on it. Would you like a concert in Scotland? Yeah. 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 I, I, I should jolly well think so too. Going right back to the, the start, you were more, Judith, a folk group, were you, before you sort of hit the pop scene? Was that your thing? Well, when we first arrived in England, actually, we used to come up to Glasgow, I think it was, for a folk um, program, a television program. Yeah. We were very much folk. And then we met up with Tom Springfield uh, about six months after we arrived in England in 1964. And he wrote our first hit and produced our first record, which was I'll Never Find Another yeah. You. Yeah. And that made us a very commercial sound for the first time. But, of course, prior to that, you know, in, in Australia, I'd been classically involved, you know, classical music and also traditional jazz even, before I joined up with the guys. Each of us has a history to tell, pre-seekers, because the mm. guys were in different groups as well yeah. out, out in Australia, yeah. singing different music. But the Seekers w was an all-male group, Keith, wasn't it, before yes. Judith joined? You were, you were in, in existence, in mm. fact. Yes, and uh, we'd been going like that for about a year, but uh, the, the fourth uh, male member d decided to uh, opt out and get married, and, uh, and oh, at that so. stage, we yes, <laughs> so very wise. And, uh, and at that stage, we, uh, we decided to approach uh, Judith to see whether she was yeah. interested. She was very much a rising star in the musical scene in uh, Australia at that time. And uh, Certainly luckily worked, for us, yeah, she yeah. said yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, I said yes because it was a 10-week trip. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> dream. <laughs> Four years later, we were still here. <laughs> I didn't even pack summer clothes. Could you believe that? <laughs> 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 yeah. Judith uh, Athel mentioned Tom Springfield. He's been an enormous influence in your music, hasn't he? Oh, absolutely fantastic. It was a great, uh, a great combination in those days because Tom you know, found the commercial edge to all the be music we were playing, you know, the the folk music, the jazz that, uh, that Judith brought to the group, the beautiful gospel songs and everything else. And he just found that little bit of magic with songs like I'll Never Find Another Year. Mm. Of course with Georgie Girl, which has now been re-released as a single, a, a re-recording of Georgie Girl, and an old recording, there's great value on the single, that was released this week. Uh, Georgie Girl was really the song that put the Seekers internationally. We'd had hits with the other songs, but that was the one that really yeah. cemented the group around the world. Hey, you've got the video as well, um, Bruce, let me hold this up, yes, the camera. Yes, we certainly do. Only. This yeah. is uh, Which is on Seekers show, Live it? in Concert. It's the first time uh, we've ever done a, a video of uh, one of our concerts, and it's, it's really excellent. So that, these are the songs that are on the, the Carnival of Hits album as well? Absolutely, yes, yeah. plus a few new ones that people have uh, not heard before. Brilliant. A few little bonuses there. Yeah, it's a wonderful concert. I must say, I listened to uh, you guys on, on radio yesterday. I won't mention the radio station, but I, I could not believe that the sound was just as it was 25, 30 years ago. It was yeah. absolutely... Did anybody else hear it? Was, it was yeah. superb. Yeah. And tonight as well, it's just the seekers are back, and it's mm. great. But are you going to stay back? Well, mm. we're never, we're never, we were never really apart in one sense. I mean, as friends and, uh, and in terms of the spirit that we all had together musically, I mean, we had, we had to stop for a lot of reasons in those days. Uh, we had different directions to pursue. Uh, but now that we're back, I, th this is a different scenario now. I mean, our friendship is back in real terms. You know, we're, we're together very closely as friends. And, and that'll never change. Uh, and I think that with product like this, uh, the Seekers have another dimension to them. You know, videos and CDs. And that's a whole new thing without even sort of going into the studios again. Well, you have a rebirth. I must say you have an enormous number of friends, so Britain and in Scotland as well. It's yeah. as well. It's been a delight to have you on the program. Mm -hmm. I do wish we'd more time. I wish we'd more time for more songs. But Judith, Athol, Bruce, Keith, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. The music is terrific. I enjoyed that fellow. My thanks to the gang. Time for another break, but coming up, Rebecca Ilmalogaloo and Derek Nimmo. So see you shortly. <laughs>